How are commercial bars designed for ADA compliance? In this video, you'll learn that today there's no longer any such thing as grandfathering in many communities and that everyone should adhere to the ADA standards for accessible design. Coming up. Hey, Rick Hughes Bell again from Cabaret Design Group, where I share my personal ideas and tips on bar design, draft beer system design, and product reviews. Later in this video, I'll give you today's takeaway. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and check out the show notes and links in the YouTube description below. Now let's jump into the show. For those who are unaware, the Americans with Disabilities Act, simply referred to as ADA, is a civil rights law that prohibits discrimination based on disability and was passed in 1990. In fact, all of our clients are encouraged to comply with the most current, strictest ADA design specifications. With all the information on the internet, it's still challenging for most people to understand the current and seemingly endless design guidelines set up for the bar and nightclub industry. The general dimensional criteria we use when designing ADA compliant design for seating at commercial bars is as follows. 60 inches of width, not greater than 34 inches in height, and at least 19 inches of leg clearance. I can best illustrate these ADA dimensional clearances by showing you the following example, which can be downloaded below. Here you'll notice that we provide one ADA space, which we refer to as a station, the same as every bar design. The space shown in this plan is 60 inches wide. And if we look at the details of this in elevation and section views, you'll notice that the height of the ADA countertop is set at 34 inches and that the outside edge of the ADA bar top is cantilevered 19 inches from the closest finish on the bar face. What I just described is the easy part of the design. The hard part is adapting standard bar equipment to function within this height constraint. In commercial bar design, we utilize every square inch of space, so we must develop a solution for modifying the equipment. In most instances, we specify a three centimeter thick countertop and three quarters of an inch of plywood underlayment which leaves us with slightly greater than 32 inches of vertical space for the respective underbar equipment. But these are metal fabrications that can normally be modified. No doubt the cost will increase for one or two pieces, but making efficient use of the entire underbar space justifies this cost. Much of the bar equipment you see here can often be modified. Glass Tender, a premier manufacturer of bar equipment, has been great to work with. We normally specify that the backsplash and legs be reduced by three inches each so as to minimize back strain for bartenders. In order to trim and beautify the ADA station, we'll normally specify tall side panels from the same material we're specifying for the bar. To create a totally customized appearance, we specify that the end panels be four inches taller than the adjacent bar tops, which creates a way of trimming the upper bar while also creating a side splash. Whether you're remodeling your bar or embarking on a new construction project, you need to strongly consider adhering to the current ADA standards. It will be well worth your effort to meet the most restrictive design standards for ADA bar design. See you next time.